one of the things the design build process did and accomplished was to give Henderson a clear understanding of our needs, which allowed Henderson to facilitate this process and really help us have a product at the end of the day that, that we were looking to get. I would absolutely um, do the design build process again. We felt that there were a lot of advantages to this. Uh, the main advantage is the, um, the, the team effort from beginning to end. And I think involving the contractor in the process on the front end of a project makes the project flow a lot smoother. I felt that I was adopted into the Henderson family from day one. And, you know, they, they, they cared. Uh, I remember sitting in a conference room where we had more people than chairs of getting everyone on the same page from the architects to the subcontractors uh, to the key critical players to go into this project um, on the right foot going forward. From the start to finish, it was a, it was a team effort. They kind of felt that they were part of our department when they were building this. Um, they wanted it right and they never had an excuse. Not one time did I feel like Henderson made the decision by themselves. Um, it was always, it always appeared as to be a team approach, a team decision. Henderson sought our input and comments. And I've worked with several contractors where it's, this is the way we're gonna do it and, and that's it. But Henderson definitely did not take that, that approach. They kept us involved in the process and their, their goal was to build a facility that New Kent and the larger community would be proud of. I think they fostered a culture uh, with the subcontractors of safety and high quality and you could see that every day. This site was as clean as I've ever seen a site under construction and um, I, I remember coming onto the site early into uh, the construction not wearing a helmet and uh, I, I quickly got the evil eye knowing that this was kind of the culture, the safety culture that they wanted not only for the subs but for the owners as well and uh, I, I appreciated that because uh, I'm safety conscious. It was a very safe, very clean, high quality environment that we were walking into here. Very rarely do you get into a construction project where there's not any major surprises to a project and big change orders. And yes, we had some change orders, but they didn't feel like surprises. All that is because of the great communication uh, that Henderson had. Things just flowed so well and worked so well in this project. Being the one that's really in charge of the money and having to report to five elected officials, it felt good and it gave my board of supervisors some comfort, which just makes everything run so much smoothly. We moved in a month before schedule. Yes. <laughs> and I didn't have to go back to this gentleman here <laughs> to ask for any more money. We were on budget. We understood uh, the relationship between us and Henderson of that's where we, we needed to be. We needed to be on time and we needed to be on budget or under budget. And both they hit the nail in the head. I give them an, an A plus on in integrity with the communication, the transparency, the openness. Um, you know, it, it made this project a success. Beyond the building means that you go above and beyond and really understanding what the buyer is looking for. Henderson's commitment to falling through is certainly uh, the reason why we're sitting in this building today. As the future for us continues to grow and we have new projects, I would hope that Henderson is right there with us again.